On Sunday, the parliamentary representative for Sufra, Honorable Emma Hippolyte, addressed residents who gathered for the launch of Christmas Village by the Sufra Regional Development Foundation. The joy of the school's caroling festival was marred by the tragic event that took place in the town on Saturday. The MP condemned the gun violence that claims the life of one man and left another seriously injured. The community of Sufra, we've always come together work together, build together, and survive together. So we will not tolerate outsiders coming and put a black mark on our town. So I am asking everybody, because some of you would have information, to cooperate with the police so that we can put an end to some of the things that are happening to us. We cannot behave that it is not our business. It is our business. Because I can tell you, as a government, we are doing different things. And before I came here, I was in Otsa, in Castries office, at a business forum. The government is doing all in its effort to bring this economy together and we will not tolerate some crazy people doing what they are doing to destroy it. Because whether we like it or not, what is happening here, what has happened here, what has happened in Babono, what is happening in other places, is impacting the economy of this country and is impacting each and every one of us. Nonetheless, the MP was resolute that the season and indeed the future must be safeguarded for our wee ones and future generations. She appealed to residents, urging them to play their part in building a peaceful and a prosperous community. I want us in a very special way to give ourselves a gift this Christmas. And our gift must be an opening of our hearts, our minds and our souls to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because as a country, as a country, we ought not to allow a virus of darkness and evil to take over this land. Every one of us have a responsibility to change that tide. And we can change it by changing our lives, changing our focus, and embracing Christ. Sufra residents and officials all agreed that putting the focus on children at the start of the season should send a powerful message to communities that their future is in our hands and that the legacy we leave behind for them to inherit should be a positive one. Choirs representing schools within Sufra brought forth messages of love and joy through music. From Sufra FM, I am Genevieve Gonzague reporting.